Guys, Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Have you guys ever wanted to make your own watch face? Never really knew how to? Seems a bit complicated? Don't worry, that was me a few weeks ago as well. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own custom watch face using Clockology. Let's go! Now, before we get started, if you guys aren't too sure how to install Clockology on your Apple Watch, click here. If you're somebody who already has an app installed but can't find too many great watch faces, click here for my top 10 Clockology watch faces of all time. Go ahead and watch those videos first before you watch this video. All right, enough kidding around, let's go. So the very first thing that you wanna do is open up the Clockology app and press on the plus button on the top right corner. From here, the app gives us a few options to work with. The very first thing that you wanna do is select what kind of watch face you want. These include none, Analog, Digital, Cape Cod, and Activity. I personally like starting from scratch, but if you guys want to use one of those templates, go for it. After that's done, you want to choose your color selections. These options include Default, Random, 80s, Angular Motion, Clara, Engineer, Firewatch, Numeral, and Retro Diner. If you're like me and weren't able to understand half those words, just go with Default. To show you guys how easy it actually is, I want to start with no templates and default color. Once you're done, press create. Not so hard, right? I told you. Okay, next up, I'm going to create an analog watch face because I personally feel like it looks more professional and sleeker, so let's go from there. So let's click on the plus button on the right hand side of the screen, and as you can see here, there is a long list of different options to choose from. But to get started, I'm going to start with my second hand or second ticker, whatever you want to call it. So I press select and BAM! We have now added a second hand to our watch face. The eye you see on the very left hand side is a toggle for if you want to enable this feature or not. So as I tap on the eye, watch how the second hand disappears and reappears. Magic! Moving on, I'm not digging how this looks right now. So let's press on the second hand row and that'll bring us into the customization section. We won't need to go into how all these options work, otherwise this video will take 5 hours long. But the most important feature that you guys want to adjust is the type. This basically changes the appearance of whatever you're trying to customize. It's really simple. So let's click on type and this will bring up a long list of all the possible second hands you could want. I'm digging this Roman second hand, so let's go with that and press done. So I personally like it when the second hand is a different color, so it helps me distinguish it from the other hands. So let's press color, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of colors to choose from. I'm gonna select red. Now press the back button on the very left hand side, and there you have it. Our very first step in our watch is finished. I told you guys this was easy. Next up, let's do the same thing, but for the minute hand this time. So press the plus button on the right hand side and select minute hand. Now we can see here on the main page that there's another row for a minute hand. So let's customize that. Press on minute hand, type, and again, it's showing all the possible options we have for the minute hand. I'm digging the look of the arrow option. So let's choose that, press done, and press back to go back to the first menu. There we go. Now we have our second hand and minute hand. Good job, guys. So we've done the second hand and the minute hand. So what's left? You guessed it, the hour hand. So let's press the plus button on the very right hand side, scroll down and select our hand and then press select. Click on our hand, press type, and let's try and find a design that fits well with what we have so far. Um, I think boxy looks pretty good. So let's go with that and press done. I'm pretty happy with the color of all my hands right now. So let's press back and get back to the main screen. As you guys could see, the plus button on the right hand side of the screen allows you to have additional features and customize your watch faces to give it whatever you want. If you want more stuff, press the plus. So I'm not sure about you guys, but with the current setup right now, I find it kind of hard to tell what time it is because there are no minute lines. So let's add that. So let's press on the plus button on the very right hand side, scroll down until you see shape ring, then press select. Now I want to get a square shaped ring around the border of my watch face and as you guys can see here, this is not what I want. 
But the beauty of Clockology is that it lets you customize everything to get it how you want it. Let me show you guys how to get it to look really, really cool. Firstly, press on shape ring. I personally like the look of the thin box design for the minute lines, so I want to leave it alone, but feel free to change it to whatever you like. Scroll down to the very bottom and select count. By default, it has it set to 12 counts, but I'm going to max it out to 60 and press done. If you look down at the very last option, there's an option called render shape. Select that and scroll down until you see a square. Select it and press done. Now it looks pretty good, but the lines are a bit too close to the center, so let's spread them out so it looks a bit cleaner. Scroll back to the very top and enable show layer properties. This option allows you to customize the layering and formatting of your watch face. If you look towards the middle, there's an option for scale. Let's tap the plus button repeatedly until the minute lines reach the very edge of the watch face at about 1.25. Now I'm sure you guys can all agree that this looks much better than before. Feel free to play around with the options until you're happy with your design, but I'm satisfied with how clean the overall watch looks now. Now I'm not sure what you guys feel about my watch face right now, but I feel as if it needs one last touch before it's actually ready. So if I want to add another feature to my watch face, what do I do? You guessed that the plus button on the right. I'm going to scroll to the very top and look for the image option and then press select. So let's press on the image row and as you guys can see here, there's a small orange photo icon next to the image row. I'm going to select that and that's going to open up my photo gallery. So as you guys can see here, at the very top of my photo gallery, I have an Apple Watch background wallpaper for the very famous brand Rumi's. I'm going to select that and there we go. Now it's applied as our background. It looks great and all, but all the features that we added in the beginning of this video are now gone. So what do we do? It's all right. Let me show you guys how to fix this. Press edit on the left hand side and you'll notice that there are some bars on the right hand side of the screen. These bars allow you to adjust the different layers of our watch face. So let's drag the image row all the way to the very top and BAM! And there we have it. Our very own custom watch face made by you. How amazing is that? And of course, you can change your background to whatever you want. And this will enable you to have those expensive brands on your wrist for free by simply changing your background. If you want to enable this watch face on your Apple Watch, drag down from either side of your watch face and that face that we just made will now appear in your library. As I showed you guys in my how to install Clockology video, long hold and press sync. Now, you can show off to your family and friends this amazing watch face that you just created. And I bet you, they'll be begging you to show them how you did it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more Clockology content in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.